Leon. Please leave a name and message after the town. Thank you. Hey, Leon. Uh, it's Jonathan. Uh, look, when you get a chance, can you call me, please? We need to talk. It's important. Okay? Uh, talk to you later. Hey, it's, uh, it's me. Uh, it's been an hour now, and I really need you to call me back, so I don't want to get into details of a voicemail, so when you get this, just call me, please. Okay, so I don't think you understand the purpose of a voicemail. Like, when I call you and leave a message, you're supposed to call back and talk. When you get a chance, call me back, please, okay? We need to talk about something that's important, okay? So when you get this, just give me a call. Uh, I'll be around. Nigga, are you dead? You must be dead. Why aren't you picking up the phone, Leon? I don't know. I'm really starting to feel like one of your side chicks right now. I must be speaking Spanish, or Creole, or Swahili, something. I don't think you understand what's going on. Leon, where are you? Come on. Jonathan? What's up, man? Hey, Frank. Um... I gotta talk to Leon. Could you please tell him I'm outside? You all right, please. man? You look awful. Leon, get him for me, please. Tell him I'm outside, it's important. Leon's locked up. I'm watching his place for a while. He got arrested? Took him to jail. $300 of unpaid parking tickets. What's his bell? I can get him right now. <sighs> That's the thing. It ran his record. He has a warrant in three different states for peddling illegal firearms, so... Safe to say he's gonna be gone for a while. You've gotta be kidding me. I know, right? Not to be a dick or anything, but uh, if it were me, I wanna be arrested for something you put in a rap song. Murdering, pimping, stuff that sells records. Yeah, sure. Have a good night. You all right, man? Wonderful. <laughs> that's not true. I know that's not true. Your bio rhythm's all messed up, and I can tell. What? Bio rhythms. It's when you use math and calculus to detect when the niggas in his feelings. You got any coffee? Relax. Breathe. I know it's a tad extreme, but in this business, you really can't trust anyone. Comfort will kill you if you're not careful. How may I help you? I'm here to renegotiate. Things between you and I were left on an awkward note, and I would prefer us meeting face to face versus having our middleman do the talking for us. Kalik said that you're not interested in what I have to sell, which is Weird, because you're familiar with my product. Only reason you're here. So what's the problem? You want dollars in exchange for pennies. Look, I'm not giving you my money if the quantity isn't there. You can raise the price by 10%, and these junkies would sell their left nut to get a fix. Supply and demand. I have the supply, they demand. How much product on hand? Less than half. Don't think of me as a drug dealer. I'm like an investment, like Google, the stock market. Yeah, it starts off rough, but eventually I turn you a profit. And you know what I have is real. Otherwise you wouldn't meet with me a second time. I may be less than half, but you buy me out and that changes. Scare money don't make none. You read the Bible, Jonathan. I'm sorry? The Bible, the word of God, you read it? My mother used to read it to us before bed. You ever wonder what made Judas, Judas? He spent his time learning from the wisest person on earth, yet he threw it all away for greed. Like you, Jonathan. You know you done fucked up, right? Hey! I don't want to see you selling on my streets. Ever. We clear? Wow. Yeah. 
That's why I wanted lean on here. But now I'm out of options. Okay. You ain't gotta keep begging. I get the gist. I'll help you. With what? Killing Mr. Florence. <laughs> Who said anything about that? I'm just telling a story. That was not a story, man. That was a cry for help. Frank, I'm so weak. Help me. I didn't say anything like that. Man, you ain't even gotta say it. Your body rhythm. No, no. Please, stop, okay? I don't get you, man. I thought you want revenge on the man who stole from me. Well, I do. But unlike the stuff you play in the video games, you can actually die from this. Ask Leon, he knows the streets. How street can Leon be? He's getting a salad tossed over a ticket. Now, I may not know much about the street life, but I do know when someone's being a bitch. <coughs> you talking about me? You got your ass whooped. He took your money and you let him walk. Technically, he did not whoop my ass. Technically, he did. Look at your face. Well, technically, he had four guys and a bunch of guns on me, so it doesn't count as a real ass whooping if you can't defend yourself. You probably wouldn't even know what to do if you were in my position. I wouldn't get my ass whooped. Okay. All right, Frank. You want to ride so bad? What you got in mind? All right, here's the story. I'm the drug dealer with the product. I set a meeting with Mr. Florence. Then I give example to him just to pique his interest. Then I tell him I got more in the trunk. Then I open the trunk, I show him the goods, and then you hop out and you fire away. I don't know if I want to sit inside of a trunk like this. I mean, it's, it's kind of junky. When's the last time you even cleaned this thing? Let me just sit up front with you. Bruh. That'll ruin the element of surprise. If they see you, they know something is up. Look, man, you can trust me. I ain't gonna let you get Jackie Brown. Excuse me? Jackie Brown. By Quentin Tarantino. Samuel Jackson promised Chris Tucker some fried chicken if he sat in the trunk and with the shotgun. But then Chris Tucker gets killed because he got set up. Please tell me you saw this movie, man. I just... Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow, man. Yes, that's... We're gonna die. We're, we are we're really gonna... We're gonna die. We're gonna... How? Mr. Florence is a businessman, Frank. You, you, you Come on, you really. Cops, gangsters, they avoid this man for a reason. So if we slip up just once, man, it's curtains for us. So pardon me if I'm a little irritated that the only plan that you have comes from some dumbass Tarantino movie. Hey, man. Watch your mouth, man. Quentin Tarantino's a legend. But Jackie Brown was garbage, though. I can admit that. We're gonna die. All right, get up. It's time. What? No gun. I'm disappointed. You got six minutes. You gonna say something, you're just gonna stand over there looking like an idiot. Where's Mr. Florence? There is no Mr. Florence, at least not in this scenario. You talk to me, then I go talk to him. That's how it's gonna go today. Five minutes.
Got 10 pounds ready at any moment's notice. Who made this? You're looking at him. What's your name again? Frank. All right, Frank. Obviously, you didn't make this product. Why don't we just cut the antics while we're ahead? Why don't you show me that wire? Look, I can care less what you think about me. I'm here to see Mr. Florence, not his little errand boy. An errand boy, I like that energy. Damn. See, I know customers, rivals to you, who appreciate my time. Are we done with the jokes or can we get down to business? All right. You laugh, Frank. Where do you cook? Why don't you take me there? You got my product right here on the table. Now, if that's not enough for you to believe me, Actually, then I no, it's actually not enough for me to believe you. Honestly, I think you're full of shit. And as I stated, the only way you can have a meeting with Mr. Florence is have a meeting with me. So, are we gonna conduct business as you stated? We're gonna take your ass back the fuck home. You're driving. You all right over there, Frankie boy? You seem pretty quiet. Staying focused on the road, man. Look, Frank, I can tell you a nice guy and all. I'll tell you what. If you tell me you're a cop right now, I'll let you off with a warning and shoot you in the ribs. <laughs> no, huh? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, man. What the hell these niggas want? Always looking for somebody. Stay calm. I'm calm to shut the fuck up. License and registration, please. <laughs> you wanna tell us what we did first? Yeah, you have a tail light out. Plus you were speeding. This is a 25, you were going 40. Now, license and registration. Here. <laughs> nice car, it looks expensive. It's only a 2010, man. How about you step out of the vehicle so I can take a look inside? I can't do that, man. I'm sorry? Look, officer, why you want to look through a shit? We didn't do anything wrong, man. If you didn't do anything wrong, then you should not have an issue with me searching the vehicle. Now get out and let me take a look inside. Look, man, he clearly don't want to get up and open the trunk. And you know damn well you can't search this car legally without a search warrant. Come on with this bullshit late at night. Look, I have nothing in this car. I had a very long day. So can you just write us a ticket so we can get going? Control, we have a 1038. Go for control. Suspects, two African American males. Refusing to cooperate, <laughs> assistance is needed. Copy, units on route. Now we suspects, huh? You on that bullshit tonight. tell you, man, I thought this plan was gonna suck, bro. I was you stopped the car, I was like, what the hell is going on over here? Oops. Trying to do it all, God willing if I'm able Can't talk about me eating, you got no seat at my table Excuse me if I sound ambitious, I saw success and look delicious I know one day it's gon' fade, but in this moment I take some Is it cocky if it's true? Is it cocky if it's true? What's gon' happen when all my dreams they come alive? Is it cocky if it's true? Is it cocky if it's true? What's gonna happen when all my dreams come around? I just hit it, your switch, hands up, you know, believe All money, new blessings, gonna take that, telling it, head overseas I'm back, new wave, ain't nothing holding me Hold me please, you hot as 
bad degrees, I got grass on me. I'm heaven sent for heaven sakes. Ain't scared of death, I know my fate. Seven shows in seven days. Then another seven mean I'ma stay. Kill yourself just to get some clout. 